Hi guys, David from Full Proxy Labs here in the UK. Um, today we're going to continue on from our last video um, doing Fortinet SSL VPN um, with Active Directory authentication, but this time we're going to add in a second factor authentication using 40 Token Mobile. So a few prerequisites for this one. So we'll just check the what we've done already in the previous video. So we've got our Active Directory bind. Uh, we've got our SSL LDAP VPN user group already configured. And under our SSL VPN settings, we've got our authentication group and portal mapping already in place. And if we check our IPv4 policy, um, obviously we need firewall rules to make this happen. So rule 18 and rule 20 there will allow our SSL VPN users to get out to our DMZ web server and the internet using full tunnel mode. Okay, now that we've got our prerequisites um, covered off, uh, it's time to take a look at the actual 40 tokens themselves. So the first thing we need to do is activate our 40 token. Um, we're going to be using mobile tokens as opposed to hard tokens. And um, the activation code is something that's provided by Fortinet when you purchase your pack of tokens. We've purchased a pack of five tokens, which is the smallest pack you can buy. Okay, now that we've got our mobile token pack registered, we're going to create a new user definition. So rather than using the local users built into the 40 gate, we're going to uh, reference a remote LDAP user. So select our AD server as we uh, created earlier on. And the user that we're going to select is a user from the VPN users group that we want to allocate our mobile token to. Now that we've got our remote LDAP user defined, we're going to edit that user and enable it for two-factor authentication. So what we'll do is put in our email address um, so that the user will receive an email with a activation code or a QR code um, that can be scanned into the 40 token app from your mobile phone. We'll enable the user group, um, the VPN user group that we created in our previous video, and we'll enable two-factor authentication for 40 token, and we'll select the first 40 token in our list, and that's the activation code sent. Okay, so we received our email. Uh, we'll just open our preview, our QR code, and then we'll open our um, 40 token app on our smartphone. and scan that QR image. And that's just registered. Okay, let's test it out. So we will log in with our uh, common name that we're using for our Active Directory authentication, which is our first factor or something we know, um, username and password. And we've been prompted this time for a token. So token is live on the mobile. We'll enter that token. This is the something we have as our second factor. And that's our VPN connected. All right, so we'll just open a command prompt just to have a quick look at the IP address we've been allocated from our pool. As you can see, that's as, as expected great and we'll just test to make sure that we can indeed get out to the internet so we'll whiz on over to fortinet.com and that looks to be working fine so we click around to make sure we've got nothing cached from an earlier session click find a partner look no further full proxy And we'll just go to another website just to uh, just for good measure. So we'll pop over to fullproxy.com, and that looks to be good too. <laughs> and as we can see, we've got multi-factor authentication right there in the middle of the uh, screen on our latest news, blogs, and videos. Okay. Lastly, we'll just take a look at the SSL VPN monitor. Uh, as we can see, we've got a uh, user logged in there. And we can take a quick look at our IPv4 policy and we can see that we've got traffic hitting our internet rule. 
Okay, that's us done for our, another bite-sized video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and thanks for watching.